So 20 years ago, Providence, Rhode Island, downtown Providence, we find ourselves in a club. We just doing up the town, just saying, seeing what's going on. You know what I mean? So we do all that. We get down there. We shuttle out. You know, everybody's everybody left the cars parked either on campus or off campus. So we're down here, right? And we get in. You know, we're assuming, you know, everybody's, you know, everybody's way grown. These are kids, you know, we just kind of blended together. We don't really know all of each other yet, but we just, we just doing the town. And we're not that far from campus. You can always just get back to campus with your people that you might be closer with. So we're down there doing all of that. And we step into a club called Club Hell. Yeah, the, the uh, I think it's the Merovingian spot out of the Matrix. So we in his club, basically. And, you know, we see the steam, we see the smoke screens, we see, like, females inside of, like, a bubble or, like, a dome, you know, with all of that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, I think it was somebody in a cage and all of that. And so we're like, yo, this is wild. You know, first, yeah, you know, folks was a little apprehensive, like, man, we're going to go. Man, I don't know about this one. But we had tried other, other clubs down there, and we was just... You know, moving, moving, moving through, moving through, just seeing what's going on, doing the um, the Vince Vaughn thing back in the day. Just, yeah, you know, hang to this spot, to this spot is dry, and we go to the next spot, go to the next spot. So when we get the drinks, I notice that now instead of four of us, it's three of us. And we like, oh, yo, where this dude go? Uh, we ain't see him. We see him getting yoked up in the corner because he had a fake ID. So it was a bouncer with, 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 just got him gripped up, like arm around the neck, yoked up everything. And we like, wow, you know what I mean? We know we ain't had nothing to worry about. But I think he had like a whole ticket, had to go to court, all of this. And <clears throat> we were fortunate because uh, apparently the rest of us was grown. You know, our IDs was legit. We was official. We just used the driver's licenses. So just the standard, standard identification, once you get your driver's license, you're going just use that for pretty much everything. So we get in there, we get in there off that and he's yoked up in the corner and in hindsight, I want to connect it to a lesson now. In this time that we're dealing in, spiritually speaking, energetically speaking, just just this age that we moved in, this time in human history, this context and tone of society that we're in right now. A lot of people got yoked up for having fake IDs. Stepping in and out of realms. A lot of people stepped into stepped into 5D, tried to approach 5D, and didn't have the right identification. They had a fake five, they had a fake 5D ID, or they had a fake 4D ID. They were still 3D, but they wanted to put on a veneer of spirituality and just this whole guise of being a teacher of some sorts. And you've seen this wave just sweep across the social media spaces where a lot of people who were on top are not only at the bottom, but they're gone. They're like eliminated from the entire equation. It just like that bouncer had that man gripped up and held in a restraint and like had his neck and everything like that. If you don't have the right ID... For the next level, which is to say, if you don't really believe it, if you're trying to get in on somebody else's GP and on somebody else's credit and knowledge, if you're just slipping in, if you're just weaseling your way in and not putting in the work that proves you belong on the next level, you are going to get yoked up circumstantially. Something is going to show itself that's going to expose the, the artificiality that you came with, that a lot of people come with. And is and, and they could be cruising for a while. You could get in the club for a while and, and, and dance for a while. Now he was going to like five minutes or less. They ain't even let him get his drink. This place was called hell. And for trying to get in there with a fake ID, I'm assuming that's what they put him through. That's what it must have felt like for him to be in that position. You know, we all hanging out. And next thing you know, he's being take it out and we already downtown so they probably just booked him around the corner and this is what's happening people are like they coming in 
probably trying to be a particular way and then just get jammed up and then they get removed from from the race just be careful be wary of excessive persecutions everybody gets i'm sure their fair share of gang stalking targeting gaslighting i'm sure people experience this but to the degree that a lot of people are claiming to experience it who are being ousted there may be more to that story. It may not be that they're the new school martyr. It may be that whatever dirt that they were doing just came up on them. You know, they call it the superstar effect right now. And it's not a popular term because the superstar effect has another meaning. It's not rising to stardom. It's being pulled down out of the skies. Like a meteor shower, like a shooting star. And we marvel at shooting stars. It takes your breath away to see a shooting star. But a shooting star can be a falling star. So it takes a person's breath away for the Hollywood stars to be shot down and to be flung from their positions of prominence. And to be caught up in scandal, etc. This is like stars falling out of the sky. Just like Revelation said, the stars will be knocked out of the sky... A lot of people are still looking up at the constellations, waiting for those to fall. We don't know when those are going to fall. But what we do know is that people who are called stars, we could say probably more than a third of them have come down to the earth. What is the new earth? Social media. A lot of them got to get YouTube pages now. Formerly platinum selling artists. They got to come down to the streaming world now. A lot of Hollywood actors and actresses, they on YouTube. And if they're blackballed, they're telling you everything that got them kicked out of heaven. They're they're telling you how their their star got flung out of orbit. Because there's there's two Lucifer stories. You only hear of one where it's the third... Of the angels that are falling And he's falling with the third of the angels But what you don't hear Is the more Atlantean Side of the story The more Venusian origin Story You don't hear of A tyrannical dragon Terrorizing And lording it over higher beings And then you just got Lucifer And a third that's willing to rebel Against a staunch order to rebel against the first traces of tyranny under the helio religious system. That's one story right there. And if you're going to be a shining one. Then it might only be a third of all people on earth that are down with your movement. But you've probably been cast out from the upper echelons of society. Or maybe you were in a place of prominence yourself. and got removed. By some figurehead that said, you got to praise me or else you got to worship me or else I deserve all the praise. You might have been under that kind of rule. And this is not to try and make the idea of God, the Yahweh, Jehovah look bad or anything. But it's just to reveal that there are two stories, that there's one story where the Yahweh known as Jehovah is a tyrannical dragon that is an oppressor and is really the enemy disguising himself as good. Thereby using uh, theological Hegelianism to deceive the masses from the very start. Always look at both sides to a story. This is one of the mysteries behind the number two. And shout out to uh, to Taryn Gaia, Lucid Living TV. She was recently, very recently talking about the binary code being changed. Instead of it being zeros and ones, now it's zero, one, and two. And there's a lot of inner mystery in the number two. And just for, out of respect for, I believe, how she was teaching the lesson or uh, just sharing information in the live, I'm not going to go too much into the number two, but there's just some inklings under this new energy that will give you a lot of unfolding insights into the number two and why for the most part 
all across the board, it's good to have the number two here because that zero to one thing, that plus or minus, that on or off switch, are you on, are you off, no gray area, no room for expansion, creativity, you're either this or that, black or white, light or shadow. It's good that we have more, more existential options now. That's a good thing. Yeah, it's gonna look like complexity, but with an increase in complexity comes a loss of control. And a lot of us have been oppressed and disenfranchised for too long. We needed a new cosmological ruling to govern the nature of things so that, yeah, things are so complicated that we can't be controlled anymore. That's a good thing. You want that. If things are too simple, then everybody's in a box again. I'm not advocating for chaos, but what I am advocating for is variety and diversity where it's needed. Every flower on earth is not the same color. Super T Sigma, Sigma programming, just keep adding on. Peace.